Peaceful friends, XG, people of God, let me let you know something. Do you know why I have been teaching you about these things regarding referring to God as God wants you to refer to God? Because God is in love with us. God wants us to see who God is for how God is and as who God is because God's wisdom is just holy. Holy means pure undefined, untainted, something sanctified, consecrated unto God, blessed by God the Holy Spirit. So Jesus now teaches us something. He asks us to be the children of God in God's own way, to work for the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, and every other good thing will be added unto us. Let me warn us here. It is true that 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 teaches us that all scripture is inspired by God, and you know it's for prophets, it's for instruction, it's for correction. It builds up a human being to be a man of God, a woman of God. We thank God. Let me warn you, everything you see in the scripture has a context, a story attached to it, a situation from which any statement was written or anything was made. The main truths that are the word of God are the word of Jesus himself, the Ten Commandments, the prophecies given by God to the prophets like Moses, Daniel, Elijah, you understand. Now, what is the wisdom God is asking us to have? God is asking us to have the wisdom of God, the Holy Spirit. God's Spirit is not a serpent. God's Spirit is Christian. God's Spirit is Catholic. God's Spirit is correct. What do I mean? God resembles only Jesus Christ in this world. And Jesus Christ is a human being with divinity. God gave birth to Jesus Christ through the Blessed Virgin Mary, a normal human being. And you see Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 telling you to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. Some have argued, yes, some scripture scholars have argued that it was not Jesus Christ who said that, that the Lamb of God can never suffer and die and say such a thing. Others have argued that it was the writer of the scripture that said that, which is obvious. Jesus was using a figure of speech, a simile. You understand the simile, like metaphor, simile, oxymoron. He was using a simile to say to be wise as serpents, to be tactical like they are. Maybe the way uh, the people of that time had influence from those problems that Moses conquered. You know, Moses conquered those magicians who were using serpents in the Pharaoh's palace. So. They had some influence on the people of that time in the situation where Jesus was in the Jewish country. So at that point in time, maybe that was what they said, Jesus said. But you have to be careful. It is different from saying Jesus said that Jesus himself is not wise as a serpent. Jesus is wise as a father with the Holy Spirit of God who is not a serpent. The Holy Spirit descended on Jesus like a dove according to the baptism account in the same Matthew's Gospel. So with this your understanding, what do you want to in the in the same Luke's gospel, in the same synoptic gospels, what do you in Mark's gospel, what do you want to understand? God the Father is not a serpent, God the Son is not a serpent, God the Holy Spirit is not a serpent. There are some people who claim to worship serpents or snakes or vipers or cobras. But God is not a reptile, God is not a roach, God is not a dragon, God is not a goat of Illuminati. So, what are you thinking? This is the truth. This is the truth. You have to be wise as children of God. People born of the Holy Spirit have the grace of God to recognize how to be wise. We are wise through the gift of the Holy Spirit known as wisdom. And we are gentle through the same gift of the Holy Spirit known as uh, fruits of the Holy Spirit. Joy, love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control, and friendliness. So, do you understand? The serpent is trickish. Like from Genesis chapter 3, you recognize the truth. Lie to our first parents. What God sets our first parents free and gave them grace to live in the world and increase and multiply. Human beings are called Homo sapiens and Femina sapiens. Homo sapiens in Latin means wise man. And Femina sapiens in Latin means wise woman. So our parents are wise men and wise women. We are wise men, we are wise women, our children are wise men and wise women. So we are not born of serpents. So we can't stoop so low to be wise as serpents, even if it's a simile and they said it was said in the scriptures. 
be careful. It's not because it was said in the scriptures that an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, turn the other cheek. If you turn the other cheek, they may wound you. You see, it's not everything you see in the scripture. You take word for word and say, Jesus said it. What Jesus said, some scholars have interpreted and said, okay, Jesus said the Beatitude, Jesus said the last words on the cross, Jesus said the John chapter 6, Eucharistic, uh, bread and wine, theology. There are many things. You have to be careful. So be wise as Jesus, whose mother Mary has been shown in the Immaculate Conception in Catholic churches, as you notice, crushing the head of the serpent. So if Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, is crushing the head of the serpent, and God told the woman, that's Eve, that she will crush the head of the serpent, right from Genesis, and Mother Mary seems to be crushing the head of the serpent, then it's now you understand that all these so-called federal serpents you see in Marvel comics of, uh, or Marvel movies like uh, Black Panther 2, and all these so-called Thor movies, that you see them fighting all these dragons and serpents, it's at this point in time you recognize that these are not gods and goddesses. Gods and goddesses are Adam in nature. They are in the image and likeness of God. And they can't transform into serpents because Adam is a human being. Adam is so loved by God. We are children of Adam. We are Adam's children of God. So as Adam's seed, we are Christians, we are Catholics, we are Pentecostals, we are children of God from different faiths and denominations, and we are children of God from other religions, Islam, Buddhism, Confucianism, name it. So at this point in time, we are trying to seek the glory of God. We should be wise as God's Holy Spirit gives us the wisdom. God is not any roach, God is not any dragon, God is not any serpent. God is not a creature that is hiding in holes. God created the stars. So God is the energy sustaining the sunlight, as you can see it's daytime. So God is the wind, God is the water, as we say, because God is the breath of life. In the beginning, the earth was without form of void, only water, filled everywhere. God is the only source of every good thing. There are some creatures that didn't come actually from the creation of God. Scripture scholars have taught us. You can't expect a bee to give you poison. The bee gives you honey, and the honey can save your life and save you from diabetes for a thousand years and many years. In fact, honey has been discovered in the, uh, in the pyramids and they said it's still fresh. Imagine, that honey never spoils. What am I telling you? When you recognize creatures that are created by God, they produce fruits. Fruits that will last. Fruits that give health of mind and body. You eat chicken, don't you like it? Now you know something like that was created by God. So you don't expect God to become creatures that He created. The only creature in this world that God created, that God became like, is Adam's son born of blessed virgin mary that's jesus christ the lord who is actually the son of god that's the only way you can see god we call on the name of jesus christ through which you can see jesus christ and from jesus christ we see god the father through the holy spirit who takes us to god glory to god for this truth and we professor charles chick professor x <laughs> wow god save me from a broken leg so i've studied i stopped the master's degree anyway it's just funny we just have to tell the truth at many times he has to be wise as Jesus Christ. Don't forget, and gentle as Jesus Christ. And what's the third one? You have to be holy as God the Heavenly Father. The Holy Spirit is holy. God is sacred. So God the Father is a Leo. God the Son is a Lamb of God. And God the Holy Spirit is the likeness of the Dove. That's what we're taught in scriptures because God is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So we thank God for this truth, Holy God, Holy Mighty God, Holy Mother God, thank God, God be our God, angels and saints of Holy Spirit, take us back to God. God bless us as we come as your children and help us live life worthy of your name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, God. Thank you, Chave. Thank you, Chimeke. Thank you, Chuku. Thank you, Lord Mary. Thank you, Luwa. Thank you, Sanobwa. Thank you, gods and goddesses. Thank you, saints and angels. Thank you, holy men and holy women. Elijah and Mary, Elisha and Daniel, Moses and all the beautiful holy people, Ezekiel and everybody who has done the will of God in the scriptures. We thank God for every good person in this world and for the, our children coming up. We give them God's will. God's will be done. We will do God's will. We are doing God's will. God's